Hello, this is Mrs. Schuld. And I'm Miss Hofer. And we're representing Team Excel today for our video newsletter. All right, we want to be able to share with you some things that are going on in the classrooms. We'll talk about some students that are doing fabulous work and recognize them, and then also share some dates that you might want to know in the future. Um, in math classes in seventh grade, students are working with circles and geometry. Um, you'll see that Mr. Hunter's students have an opportunity to access lessons through Edu Creations, and all of the teachers use their website for homebook, homework and their workbooks. Uh, seventh grade students also use BuzzMath or Khan Academy to get some extra practice in at home, so you can ask your kiddo about those things. In science, students have participated in labs and added quite a bit of information in their science notebooks about the behavior of matter when adding or removing heat. Ask them to explain how a thermometer works. We will have a test over this information on Friday, October 5th. We will be moving forward with our study of matter, but we will begin to incorporate them with ideas about why we have weather. Mm. In language that. arts and social studies, um, in my class, the first month we focused on narrative writing and kind of all of the aspects of it um, when it comes to vivid word choice, descriptions, um, and that sort of thing. And then we applied them to a poem about where we come from. And it was a mixture of uh, direct information and some of it indirect where uh, the reader had to guess what was going on. Um, we're going to continue our study of narrative writing by reviewing and applying plot structure, characterization, and figurative language through the use of mentor texts such as George Ella's poem and other short stories, including Lois Lowry's The Giver, which is not a short story, but a novel. In addition, we're going to use The Giver to focus on a government study revolving around the question, how can communities build importance of individual voice while balancing the need for the common good? And in my class, uh, we went in a little bit different order. We're still focusing on building community and honoring individual voice and the common good. Um, but we started our year um, with some team building activities and, and building our learning community establishing routines. Um, and then we've launched into our first whole class novel. We're reading The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. And we're learning about Washington State geography and places that we would like to visit. Um, students are continuing to use mentor text to practice strengthening their writing skills and to construct personal narratives. Um, and they're doing a great job with that learning. It's been really fun. And that's also similar for Ms. Thompson's class. Yes, Students it are is. working on narrative writing and what it means to be a reader and writer in her class in terms of the workshop model. All right, so Pride students now. We're going to recognize a couple of students that we noticed were awesome in September. The first Pride student that we're going to recognize is Brandon Dawson. He's a student who stood out quickly for recognizing mm -hmm. the expectations, knowing what to do, and getting his work done. He is extremely responsible, polite, and sets a good example for his peers in class. Thanks for being awesome, Brandon. He's cheery, too. Yes. <laughs> and Miss Ariella Stafford, she is being recognized for going out of her way to make others feel included. The other day, a rather quiet student was sitting and reading. Ariella struck up a conversation about the book, which led to talking about the series. Thank you for making others feel included and being kind to all. Keep leading by example, Ariella. You rock. And our next student to recognize is Grace Morgan Lukens. Uh, Grace Morgan is welcoming to new students. She's somebody that we can always rely on to be on task and help others. She works really hard and she maintains high standards for herself. Thank you, Grace Morgan, for being so consistent. Um, we also want to recognize Anna Martin. Anna is a great contributor and classmate. She is kind and welcoming to new students and she's willing to help anybody who needs it. Anna asks great questions, and she's not afraid to take a risk when it comes to learning. So thanks for being amazing, Anna. And our final student uh, being recognized in September is Tyler, Tyler Sutherland. He's being recognized mm. as a hard worker and a great helper to his fellow students. We can count on Tyler for being on task, to contribute to conversations, and adding a positive vibe to our classroom culture. Thanks for doing that, Tyler. You're awesome. Finally, we just want to give you a couple important dates. Um, your students will be participating in Fall Fitness Frenzy on Thursday, October 11th. That happens during the school day, and we use that as our direct drive fundraiser. Um, students get a chance to practice their fitness, and we ask for our community to contribute for the activities that we offer throughout the school year for our students. So they should have brought home some paperwork on that, and you can check in with them on it. 
Also, on Tuesday, October 23rd, from 5 to 6.30, uh, we have student-led conferences. Those are drop-in, um, open house style, and students will walk you through their day and then also participate in a goal-setting exercise with you just so that um, you get a chance to partner with them on what their goals are for the year. And our final important date is Operation Soulmates. The Department of Transportation is collecting socks between the dates of September 28th and October 26th. If you want to send in a new pair of socks, uh, you can go ahead and send those to, with your student and they can hand them to their bus drivers or they can send them to their advisory teachers who can send them through the district mail courier uh, and get them to the Department of Transportation. And I think that's all we've got for this first edition. We'd love to hear if this is a method of communication that works well for you. Uh, we thought it might be more interesting than just another newsletter. Um, it could end up being funny. I, we'll have to see. We're trying to get brave. But for right now, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great weekend. And it's Mrs. Schultz and Miss Hofer signing out. <laughs>